I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Pancheo's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Daryl. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. You think humanity needs to be punished, is that it? Pain is the only thing people understand? By the time this is over, there will be no humanity left to embrace your change. The stress and horror you forced us to live through will have ripped it out of us. I... I knew there would be casualties, but I thought, over time, surely the human spirit can recover. Even as I listen to your words, I realize a cruel truth. No one else has the vision to see what I've seen, the will to do what I have done. You're all too weak, judging but never acting. None of you have the moral courage to see this through to its conclusion. Well, so be it. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. You were one of the greatest minds of our time, and tomorrow you'll be nothing but a killer. But... but they can't think that. They'll be missing the point. It was my genius that created the technology. My vision that seduced Zarif and Zhao and all the others who now feed off of it. They seek to stand on the shoulders of my research without comprehending the danger that people like you pose to mankind. I am the only one with the perspective, the insight, to know what is needed. You know, I've always wondered about that leg brace of yours. Why the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. <laughs> Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... because a fluke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix it, didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... what I... I... What have I done? Give me the codes, Daryl. Help me stop this. You'll still be in danger. Pancheya's security system, much of it is self-determining and lethal. But if you succeed, if these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati, the biochip, Pancheya. Help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. Richard, the lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. Prince, I... I think you're... 
on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. What up, Paul Darp here from Mindless Walkthroughs, continuing Deus Ex Human Revolution on the hardest difficulty without killing anyone and without being seen. Alright, um, so we just talked to Darrow. Actually, I can go ahead and start saying, uh, we're also going for all of the endings for this game. I think there's four of them. Yeah, four of them. Well, you just got your first one from Darrow. Darrow. Darrow? Whatever. Um, and then we're going to get one from... Tag... <coughs> it's alright, I'm just dying. Um, we'll be getting one from Taggart and your boss, Seraph. And then we'll have a fourth option given to us at the very end. So you don't even have to worry about two of them. But the uh, Taggart and Seraph, I'll have to show you where to get, show you how to find them. Do all that fun stuff. Alrighty, so I saw this combat rifle here and I thought, hmm, maybe I should switch my heavy rifle. So I started playing around with what I could do, and then it wasn't until the very end that I realized I'm not going to be using it anymore. I'm not really going to use either anymore for the rest of this game, so it doesn't matter. And I will never use that cooling system because it's only for the plasma guns. The uh, plasma rifle, like plasma something else, or laser something, maybe. Eh, I don't know. Anyway, um, if you really want to, you can get rid of weapons, uh, basically of every kind except for the stun gun. And maybe keep an EMP or something, just for backup. And, um... But yeah, that's, we're not using any more guns. We're done with that whole shooting people thing. Alright, so after spending way too long exploring this area, we will finally head off. Um, you're basically going to head out the same way that you came in, only difference being that every room is now going to be flooded with those crazy people, like we saw at the end of uh, the last section alright so your first group of baddies will be right over here and um it I mean these guys work basically like every other enemy you can find in this game except they tend to be a little less mobile most of them will end up just staring at a wall or standing in a corner or something, freaking out. Every now and then you'll get one or two that kind of walks up and down. Like uh, that one walking towards me. But they're not smart. They won't know where you are unless you just walk out in front of them. So it's, it's pretty easy overall. So, we're actually going to head back into this room. There's some bonus things I'm going to show you in the next video. Um, well, maybe I cut those out. I don't know. I guess we'll find out next video. Peace out, y'all.